Progressive overload is key to getting better results with your resistance training. What that means is that you systematically increase the load that you are placing on your muscles. So that could be more weights or more reps. And this makes a lot of sense. If you think about running, for example, if you want to be able to run longer distances, what are you going to do? You're going to practice running and each time you're going to run a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And your body is going to learn to run better. You're going to get in better shape for running. Same thing with your muscles. As long as you keep loading them a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, they will continue to adapt and get stronger and bigger. One way to implement this in practice is to choose a set of exercises that you do consistently every week and then keep track. So each time you go train, you write down what weight you used for that particular exercise and how many reps you were able to do. Then the next time you look at that and you see, aha, uh -huh, okay, I did 10 last time. Maybe I can do 12 this time. And then when the number starts to get quite high, like maybe 15, depending on the exercise, then you increase the weight a little bit and go down to a little bit lower reps. So that's progressive overload. Follow me for more tips on making your resistance training even more effective.